In this video, I will introduce you to the new raster calculator tool and demonstrate some of the new functionality that it can be used for. The raster calculator is a new tool for manipulating raster layers using Python expressions and can be used to derive a raster layer by applying mathematical expressions that reference one or more raster layers and apply functions, filters, external Python scripts, and .NET compatible libraries. To use the tool, a user must first specify the name and location of the output raster layer. Rasters can be saved using either a float format or grid format. When working with multiple raster layers, the snap raster option can be used to define the output raster extent and alignment. There are three extent options when using a snap raster, including setting the output raster extent to that of the specified snap raster layer, setting the output raster extent to the area of intersection between the snap raster and the reference raster layers, or setting the output raster extent to the union of the snap raster and all reference layers. If using a masking function to perform complex operations, such as adding and removing features like channels, levees, dams, and buildings, a masking vector layer needs to be supplied in the masking layer box. This layer can either be a polygon layer or a line layer. A buffer distance can also be applied to the masking layer, increasing or decreasing the size of the mask. When using a buffer, the operation applies to the buffer polygon as opposed to the masking objects. Within the raster calculator, expressions can be added manually or built using the tabs under the insert button. The first tab, or the raster tab, is where users can reference the raster layer or layers that will be used in the expression. Information about your raster layers, including cell size and extent, can be accessed by clicking on the Info buttons found beside each of the raster layers. Other tabs include the Operator tab, where the supported operators are found, the Function tab, where supported functions are listed, and the Filter tab, that lists the filters supported which allow the user to reference the values in the current cell, as well as the neighboring cells. For example, the A mean filter can be used to return a raster with each cell value equal to the mean of the user-supplied number of surrounding cells. I will begin this demonstration by showing a simple operation for how to convert DEM elevation units. In this case, the DEM is in units of meters, which I'd like to convert to feet. I have already created a script to perform this operation and have saved it as a favorite from my list of saved scripts, so I can quickly select the operation and run. Since this is a global operation, I do not require the use of a mask. After running the script, a new DEM raster layer will appear in the Layers panel, which represents the converted raster layer. Note, you may need to adjust the rendering as the cell values have changed, which may not be suited to the original rendering scheme. The raster calculator can also be used to remove or modify features in your DEM. For example, I could add buildings using a building's footprint layer as a masking layer. In this case, I have specified to set all the buildings to have a height of 25 meters. However, the user could set each building to the correct elevation by using the selected masks only option. I can also apply the new raster calculator to create risk maps using results from a 2D model. In this case, I have exported two sets of results from the 2D mesh, one showing the peak velocity and the other one showing the maximum depth. Using the raster calculator, I can create an expression defining three levels in my risk map. Once complete, I can quickly see which areas are potentially at risk for flooding. In this demonstration, I've only scratched the surface of what can be achieved using the Raster Calculator tool. For more information, please see the Raster Calculator support article from support.chiwater.com.